St. Petersburg, Russia, known as the city of the embankments, bridges and river canals. And now you will find out why, because at the moment I'm going to take you to the right with me on a boat, the boat trip over the historical city center of St. Petersburg, which is called back to the old Petersburg, the most uh, popular route actually. Now I came to the ferry, which is right next to the uh, uh, Palace Bridge. Actually, a lot of ferries all over the historical city center, but I came here, uh, the cashiers. Also from here, you can get to the Peterhof through the high-speed hydrofoil, but uh, inside of the historical city center, we will take this smaller uh, boat. Okay, 3rd of June, 2019. My name is Sergey Baklikov. I continue my video blog now. Let's take a ride. Here is a lot of ferries all along the rivers and canals inside of the historical city center of St. Petersburg. But I prefer this one because we are taking uh, stars from Admiralty. Most people might wouldn't care too much about it, but to me it seems pretty symbolic to begin the boat trip from the uh, Admiralty, especially if this is uh, the tour called back to the old Petersburg. We now begin from Neva River and uh, going until the Summer Garden. There we'll turn to Fontanka River, then Kriukov Canal, Gribayedov Canal, Moika River, and uh, we'll get back to Neva again and uh, exactly the place where we began. Uh, this way will make a great circle all around the historical St. Petersburg. The full circle will take uh, 1 hour 30 minutes. This boat trip is definitely one of the best ways to discover the uh, uh, old St. Petersburg. You're right inside of the city without any traffic jams. You're relaxed uh, riding the rivers and observe all around. Palace Bridge, the most popular drawbridge, not only because it is right between the uh, Hermitage and uh, the speeds of Vasilevsky Islands, but because this is the bridge where they draw two wings. Palace Bridge uh, with open wings, with a Peter and Paul fortress and a cathedral on the background is probably one of the most popular symbols of this city. Winter Palace, built in 1762 in a Baroque style by an architect with an Italian roots, Bartolomeo Francesco Rastrelli, ordered by Russian uh, Empress Elizaveta Petrovna. But the next Empress, Catherine II, also known as Catherine the Great, found it's not that good for a living at all too big to feel comfort there so she started turning this into a picture gallery uh, pictures from all over the world and finally we now know uh, what it came to it came to Hermitage we all know as one of the biggest art museums in the world From the left side, almost in front of Hermitage, there is a uh, Peter and Paul fortress, definitely the most significant place of St. Petersburg. It's the start point of the city. Tsar Peter the Great founded this fortress in 1703. An architect, Dominico Trezini, constructed it for 30 years. The fortress was made to confront the possible Swedish attacks. The thing back in the days, uh, Neva River was a part of the uh, waterway called from Varangians to Greeks. The control of this waterway was one of the major reasons for 20 years northern war between Sweden and Russian Empire. The church with a tall spire is Peter and Paul Cathedral. Getting back to palace embankments, I think the next great building after Hermitage here is a marble palace. It is called so because it is uh, literally faced with a marble. 32 kinds of marble. It is built by an, uh, another Italian architect, Antonio Rinaldi, by an order of Catherine the Great for her favorite, the general Grigori Arlov. 
uh, he never lived there those because died before the construction was over now it's one of the uh, branches of uh, Russian museum Marble Palace is located next to another bridge, Troitsky Bridge. The competition of the projects for this bridge won the uh, French company called Boutignol. It's the company of uh, Gustav Eiffel. Yes, the one who uh, constructed the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Uh, we actually can see that uh, the supports of the bridge actually reminds the parts of uh, Eiffel Tower. If to imagine this supports staying vertically, not horizontally like now. Next to Troitsky Bridge, the Summer Garden, founded in 1704 by order of uh, Peter the Great, initially as his uh, summer residence with a summer palace of uh, Peter. Another piece of art here is the fence of uh, this Summer Garden that you can see now. Uh, with the contemporary technologies at the moment, it doesn't seem like something special, but, but back in those days, uh, the uh, 32 parts of the fence were manually, I mean by hands, made by uh, Russian blacksmiths with a high accuracy calculated just on eye. Now from Neva River we turn to Fontanka and uh, here right on the corner of these two rivers we may see the summer palace of Peter the Great which doesn't look like a uh, traditional palace but it is. Many things in the history of uh, Peter the Great actually uh, says that in a uh, living conditions and uh, foods he was a kind of easygoing person. Summer Garden, it's a good park ensemble with a lot of plants, trees, sculptures and a fountain system. The first fountain in St. Petersburg was built here, but unfortunately a huge uh, water flood of uh, 1777 damaged the uh, fountain system big time and uh, it is still not completely uh, recovered. That so-called Poncelemon bridge with decorations consisted of golden leaf. Looks good. Right next to the summer garden, Fontanka River led us to a Mikhailovsky castle built by an order of uh, Emperor Paul, Paul I where he was killed just 40 days after he moved there in spite of all the uh, security levels like the moats all around the castle with the uh, drawbridges and guards and secret doors uh, tunnels and sides and there's the legend the ghost of uh, Paul the first still living and appearing there now it's the state Grand Circus of St. Petersburg, the first stationary uh, stone circus in the city and one of the oldest in Russia. Built uh, in the uh, way like it is now in 1877. After Belinsky Bridge from the left side there is uh, so-called the Fountain House, the palace of uh, Sheremetyev family the general and graf consul Boris Sheremetyev used to be a huge associate of Peter the Great. Now here is the house museum of Anna Akhmatova, famous Russian poetess and uh, the museum of music, music instruments. On the right side, almost in front of Sheremetyev Palace, uh, Fuberge Museum, where is presented the biggest collection of the famous Russian jeweler Karl Fuberge. The yellow building with columns next to Sheremetyev Palace, we now got back to the left side again, is the branch of Russian National Library now, but this is the former Catherine's noble Maiden Institute. The corner of uh, Fontanka and Nevsky Prospect, Anichkov Bridge, one of the most beautiful bridges in the city with those four sculptures 
of the uh, conquering the horse by human. Next to Anichkov Bridge is uh, the former Anichkov Palace, where it's now located a huge palace of children's art. Lomonosov Bridge, nice bridge dedicated to the great Russian scientist Mikhaila Lomonosov. Now here after the Lomonosov Bridge goes mostly so-called revenue houses. Uh, this part of the city uh, back in the uh, days like 200 years ago in the Peter times uh, it was the border of the city at the outskirts so here is already lived just a simple or uh, more simple people revenue houses is such a, you know multi-flat buildings that used to belong to one landlord who gave it all uh, the apartments rooms and sometimes even the corners for rents uh, usually there was different kinds of offers for different social groups and different uh, wallets. It was a good business uh, to have one revenue house in St. Petersburg was more profitable than the uh, golden mine in Siberia, they, they, they told. The revenue houses are usually easy to recognize compared to all those, you know, palaces or merchant houses they look uh, more minimalistic with not so much of artwork uh, and uh, balconies but still in most cases better than most of modern concrete box buildings or maybe it is just seems like that to me as to the uh, old architecture lover the grand dramatical theater named after georgi tovstanogov uh, who was the head of uh, theater for 33 years. Before that, it was named after its founder, the uh, famous Russian writer Maxim Gorky. A lot of very popular Russian movie actors used to act and still acting there, like Alisa Freindlich and uh, Alek Basilashvili. Because of the color and the tower, this building looks like the uh, 1950s Stalin's era building, but no, it was constructed in 1882 and uh, reconstructed in 1911. Now this is the former barracks of uh, Moscow Guard regiments. They are participated in many uh, wars since 1811, but also in 1825, 800 of uh, its soldiers participated in uh, Decembrist revolt. That was the revolt against Nicholas I, who was coming to the authority almost three. 100 Decembrists then were convicted, five uh, most active were executed. This yellow long building is the uh, Abukhovskaya Balnitsa, Abukhovskaya Hospital, one of the first hospitals in Russia built in 1779. A part of it was given for psychiatric departments and since then all the psychiatric clinics in Russia people started to call as uh, the uh, Yellow House. And this beautiful house is a manor house of uh, Gavriil Derjavin. He was one of the most highly esteemed Russian poets before Alexander Pushkin, as well as a statesman. And uh, he is the one who first noticed the uh, talents of uh, Alexander Pushkin and blessed him. Not accidentally, uh, there is now the uh, All-Russia Museum of uh, Alexander Pushkin 
inside. Okay, now we turn from Fontanka to uh, Krukov Canal. This is a completely man-made canal, which is creating another connection between Fontanka and uh, Moika River. Now look, as soon as you will get to uh, Krukov Canal, turn over and you will see how the dome of uh, the Trinity Cathedral, like rising from the grounds, that looks great, isn't it? Corner of Krukov and the uh, Gribayedov Canal now, the place for St. Nicholas Naval Cathedral. It has always been closely associated with the Russian Navy, serving as its uh, main shrine until the Russian Revolution. The main church is uh, dedicated to St. Nicholas. He is a uh, patron saint of uh, seamen. It's unbelievable, but during the siege of Leningrad and the Second World War, not a single piece of bomb ever got uh, any part of this cathedral. Now we turn to Gribayedov Canal and here begins the part of uh, Old St. Petersburg, which people used to associate with the name of uh, Fyodor Dostoevsky, one of the greatest Russian writers ever. St. Petersburg of uh, Dostoevsky. Personally himself, he lived in this neighborhood and uh, he was settling down the heroes of his novels here. Like, let's say, in this triangle form building at uh, Gribayedov Canal House 104 lives Alena Ivanovna, the old woman who was a pawnbroker and uh, her sister, Lizaveta. Um, it's where the broke student, Radion Raskolnikov, killed both. Uh, he uh, killed the old woman because of money and Lizaveta just uh, as an accident eyewitness of this murder. I really like Gribayedov Canal. Pretty uh, relaxed and not as tried as uh, Fontanka and Moika River. Here is at least eight curves during the ride through uh, Gribayedov Canal. Gribayedov himself was a Russian diplomat, a playwright, poet and composer. He is most popular for his piece War to Wit, the comedy about the confrontation of uh, the old worlds of uh, aristocrats who won't leave the scene and the new world of uh, young, progressive Russian people. It is known for sure that in this city at least 60 lines, four of them here at the edges of Lions Pedestrian Bridge. A huge residential building at Gribayedov Canal House 50, but personally I love it most of all for the Every Dog Bar located here. And I filmed the video here in November and showed you the best appetizers for a beer I ever saw. It's here called Lukashki. Also, this was the first place ever I was staying in St. Petersburg and the uh, hotel. Uh, when I came here with a friend of mine, Renat, in 2016, when I first time came to film here.
We are already coming to another intersection with Nevsky Prospect, where is Kazan Cathedral, House of Zinger, and small hall of uh, State St. Petersburg Philharmonic. Here is now the lowest, just two meters in height, and one of the widest bridges in the city. Just look yourself. The blue building is a small hall of uh, St. Petersburg State Philharmonic. Now we are in front of the Church of the Savior on spilled blood. It is founded on the exact place where Tsar Alexander II was murdered, or to say exact, mortally wounded in uh, 1881 and then died. The construction started just in two years after that in 1883 and was finished only in 1907. But no wonder why, because even nowadays it looks so monumental and uh, incredible. Reminds the uh, St. Basil's Cathedral at the Red Square of Moscow. It's uh, an evolution of uh, so-called Russian style with the references to uh, an orthodox architecture of Moscow and uh, Yaroslavl of uh, 16th, 17th uh, century. The charge on uh, spilled blood exactly means on the blood of Tsar Alexander II. Here is not any painted elements, all the colored pieces are the mosaics. Next to the Church of the Savior on spilled blood, the former imperial stables, such a garage for imperial horses and carriages. That's where Alexander II traditionally went. The route was known and the bombs to kill him were set the right way. The first explosion never got him, but the second reached its goal. We are now going through the Moik River, very close to Palace Square and Hermitage. That means slowly, but we are made already almost the whole circle through the historical city center of uh, St. Petersburg. Now from Moika River we turn to a so-called winter mode that leads to Neva River again. From the left here is uh, the uh, Hermitage Theater. Now we are getting to the water area of uh, Neva again, Palace Embankment, Troitsky Bridge, Peter and Paul Fortress, and the speed of Vasilevsky Islands with its famous rostral columns. Rostros, that's the ship's noses. The columns are decorated with them, that's why they are called rostral columns. In the center of the building of the former stock exchange market. The first museum of Russia, Kunstkamera, the museum of curiosities, most known for its uh, 300 years babies, mutants in the jars. Getting back to our ferry at the uh, Admiralty.
I hope you enjoyed the ride. At least I did my best to film and produce it. Um, I've got a three boat ride just to film it. At first I filmed from the right, then I filmed from the left. Third time I filmed the details plus the drone shot. Comment, like, subscribe. See you.